at the end of this talk, I'm going to ask you a question. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to test you or grade you. Nothing like that. But you might want to listen up because it's an important question. And it could potentially change your life. I certainly changed mine when I heard it. But first, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. And I might even tell you a little bit about yourselves. Now, I drew this when I was 12 years old. And at 12 years old, I began my career. And it was at 12 years old when I made a simple, yet extremely important choice. I decided I would follow my dreams right now, rather than waiting on other people or wishing for the right circumstances, because I realized that I paved my own paths for my own life. So at 12 years old, um, I decided I, I would follow my dreams. And I began participating in art shows and galleries. And I taught commissions and uh, so on and so forth. And I've had my career for almost four years now, and I've learned so much from important life lessons to understanding the world I live in and knowing how to connect with people. But one of the biggest things I've learned is how important it is to follow your dreams right now. So because of these art shows, I've had the chance to talk to thousands of people. And I personally love this. I love meeting people and getting to hear their crazy stories and their amazing ideas. But, um, and at these events, it's obvious that I'm doing what I love. And art is a great conversation starter. So people tend to open up about what their passions are and what they're doing with their lives and what they want to do with their lives. But I've noticed a pattern. People tend to be afraid to follow their passions. When they realize that uh, there's a, even the slightest sliver of a chance that things might go wrong, they settle into the spot of complacency and then they stay there in their little bubble and they tell themselves that they're content with their lives until they are. And really, this is a very dangerous way of thinking. Because your passions are a part of you. I mean, they're literally written in your DNA. They're much more a part of you than Western culture teaches. See, we're taught, whether we realize it or not, to kind of push our passions towards the back or put them on the back burner, so to speak, and focus on the more important things, such as education and careers and relationships. And these things are important. I realize that. But your passions are no less important because all of these things in your passions make up you and your, they're part of your identity and your legacy and who you are as a human being on planet Earth. So essentially, the problem is the fear of failure. But just like every problem, there is a solution. And in this case, it's to take a risk. And it doesn't have to be big or spectacular or flashy blinking lights, nothing like that. It just has to be a small step to get you over that fear boundary, boundary of fear. Small steps are the key to following your passions, and there will always be another step you could take. If you put five minutes a day towards following your passions, literally just five minutes, the result will be unbelievable results. So the point is to follow your passions right now, rather than waiting, like I said earlier, on other people and wishing for different circumstances because you paved the way for your own life. So why should you follow your passions right now? Well, number one, if you don't do it, yeah, you'll step outside your comfort zone. Now, everyone has a comfort zone. And we all need to expand it every once in a while. For me, it was my first art show. And it was outside on a windy night. I was kind of chilly. I hadn't eaten. And I really didn't know how to sell my art. But that was the night that I fell in love with art, and I fell in love with sharing it. And I knew next time that like, I'll just bring a jacket and I'll eat beforehand. It's not that hard. <laughs> Number two, if you don't do it now, you'll regret it later. Now, you'll always have a second chance, and a third, and a fourth, and a fifth. It will never be at any point too late to follow your passions. But why not get that head start? When has complacency or procrastination ever had a benefit in any way on anyone? The answer is never. Three you will learn so much. Just like I learned to bring a jacket and eat beforehand. It's, it's not that hard to learn. And um, you'll meet people, and you'll have mentors, and people will teach you things, and you'll always be learning. Because things will always go according to plan, but that doesn't mean you failed, and it does not make your dreams invalid. Because that's important. Nothing can make your dreams invalid. Last one, number four, you'll be happier. Now, this one doesn't really need an explanation. When you do what you love, you're happier. So now is the time to follow your passions. Not in six months, or a year, or a decade. Not even tomorrow. Now is the time to follow your dreams and do what you've always wanted to do, and to do what you love. 
So remember at the beginning of this talk, I told you that at the end of this talk, I was going to ask you a question. You ready? Why wait? Thank you. <laughs>